going to show you another really strong passage in the Old Testament that condemns the serious sin of miscegenation, also called interracial marriage, whatever you want to call it. I call it race mixing. That's what it is. It's race mixing. Now, opinions, your feelings, your political correct preferences, uh, all that stuff, your feelings, what, oh, I, that, that, it hurts my feelings. Uh, it doesn't matter. What does the Word of God say? Okay, what say the Scriptures? And I'm going to read you the Scriptures. So, get your King James Bible, open it up to 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 1 to 8, and I'm going to read it to you. And put your feelings aside. What does the Word of God say? Okay, your Word of God trumps your feelings. So, okay, or as Ben Shapiro would say, facts don't care about your feelings. Okay? So let's get right into this. This is a passage strongly condemning the serious sin of miscegenation. Okay? First Kings chapter 11, verse 1 to 8. But King Solomon loved many strange women together with the daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Zimeonites, and Hittites. Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall not go into them, neither shall they come in unto you. For they shall surely turn away your heart to after their gods. Solomon clave unto these in love. Oh, we just love each other. We just oh, if long as they, as long as they just love each other, you know, it's a sin. You know, it doesn't matter if they love each other; it's a sin. That's what, that's what's happening with Solomon right here. And he had seven hundred wives doing polygamy. This the sin of polygamy, which also is a pretty serious sin too. Princesses and three hundred concubines, and his wives turned away his heart. For it came to pass, when Solomon was old, that his wives turned away his heart after other gods, and his heart was not perfect with the Lord his God, as was the heart of David his father. For Solomon went after Ashtoreth, I hope I'm saying that right, the goddess of the Zidians, and after Milcom, the abomination of the Ammonites. And Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord, and went not fully after the Lord, as did David his father. Then did Solomon build on high place for Chemosh, the abomination of Moab, and the hill that is before Jerusalem, and for Molech, the abomination of the children of Ammon, and likewise did he all or did he for all his strange wives which burnt burnt incense and sacrifice unto their gods. You know, and I do apologize, I'm not the best at reading from a computer, so you know, thanks for bearing with me, but what was the sin there? They'll say, Oh, it, he was worshiping pagan gods. Well that was actually the result of interracial marriage. You see, every time the children of Israel mixed with other kindreds, they were always getting into paganism and worshiping other gods. So, so, in, so paganism is actually the result of interracial marriage. That's what it comes down to. The sin wasn't the pagan gods. The sin was him committing interracial marriage, and it resulted in him worshiping pagan gods. You know, isn't that kind of funny? Oh, he did it in love. Oh, they just love each other, you know? Um, it doesn't matter what say the scriptures. It clearly condemns it. So, just another strong passage that st strongly condemns the sin of interracial marriage. And before you say, oh, you're a racist, again, this term racist, it's a politically correct term. You know, you're putting your feelings above what say the scriptures. It doesn't matter what your feelings are, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what say the feelings, your feelings, it matters what say the scriptures. That's all that matters. And I hear, you know, he went after strange wives. It resulted in paganism. So, just another strong passage really condemning the serious sin of interracial marriage. So, don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye.